I can 100% verify this because one of the companies I founded and own does something called outplacement services. And when people get fired or let go or laid off, a company will often give them outplacement services to help them transition to another job more quickly, more smoothly, which is, you know, resume writing, job search, help, interview coaching, all that fun stuff that just helps you get a job faster and smoother. Those sales have went in the tank in the last six months. Like we, we expected it, but companies just aren't using outplacement services right now because they're not letting anybody go. Now, when we talk to these customers, it's a very different conversation and I'm going to tell you to pay attention. Um, they just, they're keeping people they don't want to keep because they need somebody. They need someone there. They need someone to answer the phone. They need someone in that seat. They need someone on the shop floor. They just need somebody there. The thing you got to think about is, and this ain't funny. It's just I'm, I'm thinking about what's going to happen. And I think a lot of people are going to get blindsided. There's this great resignation thing going on. And then people aren't thinking about, you know, come up with some other clever name called the great firing. Because... When the economy slows down and companies have access to talent again, they're going to start letting these people go that they didn't want to hang on to. Um, It's an ugly truth, but if you're sitting around feeling real cozy right now and you're feeling really comfortable, um, now's not a time to chill. When the economy crashes, and who knows, it could be in six months or five to seven years, we don't know, but when it happens... If you've been sitting back saying, I'm just going to chill, they're not going to fire me because they need me, that day's going to come. And it's one of those things that I tell friends and family, don't chill. you got ambitions, you got dreams, you got goals. Keep your foot on the pedal and keep going. Don't go to work and chill. Just because you know they need you so bad, you can get away with things. I'm going to tell you what, right now, from relationships to friendships to the business world, When someone feels like they're getting played or getting used, they might put up with it for a little while, but they never forget it. So talking to a buddy at a Fortune 500 about this, he's dealing with this on a daily basis. Um, People are starting to kind of roll in later. Um, They're, you know, missing meetings or coming into meetings later. They got, you know, more attitudes or work's getting sloppier. And, you know, he feels like they're, you know, he gets taken advantage of, but he's like, James, what am I supposed to do? It's probably going to take me six months to replace even one person right now. So, you know, he's got to he's got to eat crap until he doesn't. And it's one of those things, like, don't take advantage of situations if you want to have a good career and a good life and you're trying to get somewhere. Um, don't play, These are games you end up losing in the long run, man. And, you know, my buddy's going to put up with that for... At this rate, who knows, probably a good year and, you know, who knows what's going to happen here. But at some point when that bubble pops, things are going to change. And uh, I've just, I've noticed it on the one side because that one line of business at the career consulting company, um, you know, that company also does, you know, resume writing and coaching and all that stuff for uh, one-on-one consumers and customers, not just businesses. So they stay busy doing that, but that other side of doing outplacement for businesses has just died. And when we talk to those customers, they're like, I got nothing for you right now. It's like, we got people we want to let go, we just can't. That's every business owner I know right now. And, you know, bars, restaurants, um, (laughs) you name it, that's what they're dealing with. Because you can't find nobody to work. There will be a day of reckoning, though. And if you did good work... Life's going to be good for you because while you're busting your butt right now and being a professional and knocking it out of the park, they're never going to forget that. You know, for my buddies in this, you know, massive company, um, he's never going to forget the people that actually stepped their game up during this time. You know, the people that took advantage of it, eh, it's not going to look so pretty. So one of those insights that I think, uh, it's anything, it's, it's human beings. When we can take advantage of things, we tend to do it even when... We know it's probably not smart to, but uh, for now, people can get away with a lot of things, but they're probably going to end up paying a price for it at some point. So keep that in mind. I love seeing people crush their careers. 
and just, you know, reach their goals and have crazy high ambitions. I don't want to see anybody trip themselves up. Um, or you want everybody to win. It's just people kind of can't get out of their own way. And just one of those moments when, you know, the easy thing to do is to chill. And I'm saying just go. Push harder. Work harder. Keep moving. And this stuff's going to pay off because... You look at the way the economy's going and where society's going right now, the people who step up to the plate are going to win. Now's not the time to chill. So, Jobs are secure for now, but if you were around for 2001 and, and, and 2008 in the business world, you remember what that looked like in terms of layoffs and whatnot. Um, a lot of times we're coaching people that are, I'm, I'm even dealing with... Uh, you know, family and friends, their kids that are now coming out of college. And, you know, they're coming out of college at 22 right now. Then when 2008 happened, you know, they were like 10 years old. They have no idea what 2008 was like with the mass layoffs, trying to get a job, people that were getting those furloughs or, you know, only working two or three out of five days a week, having their hours cut. Um, yeah, it's like, I'm talking to, I hate calling them kids, but they are kids that are coming out of college and you're, uh, you know, trying to do your buddy a solid by talking to a kid. And it's like, man, your kid got no idea about what it was like in 2008. And another day like that always comes. We just don't know when it's going to come. But you think you're going to sit back and like, you're never going to see struggle like that again. But you know, those days always come. It was very hard dealing with that market at that time. And right now it's the flip side of it. It's, um, it's, it's boom times if you're trying to build a career and trying to get somewhere, but you can't always look at it about right now. It's where you're going to be in five years. What are you doing today? That's going to get you to where you want to be in five years. Um, my guess is chilling ain't going to get you anywhere in five years. So this is one of those things that Everyone feels safe for the moment, but there's always a, the reverse action to this thing. And the people that should have been let go over the last six months will eventually get let go. And you're going to look up warning notices. That's when companies do certain size companies. And I think, you know, depending on state law, you got to um, give a notification about a mass layoff if it's over a certain amount of people. Keep an eye on warning notices. And when you start to see those things trickle, they're going to start trickling up. That's when you know that a lot of those firings and layoffs are going to start to happen. So that's something we track because we're in the outplacement business. Um, we provide services to people that are displaced and help them transition into new jobs faster. And uh, <laughs> all you got to do is keep an eye on the warning notices, man. Um, if you look, they probably have trailed off quite a bit. You don't see the layoffs in the news as much. You don't see as many warning notices. If you do, if the number's not as big as they used to be. But as soon as you see that, you know what's coming. So, Anyways, keep your foot on the pedal. Now's not the time to chill. Right. If you got any thoughts or comments, drop one below. Until then, I'm going to catch you on the next one.